Hi lovely air signs, this is your intuitive guide and reading for the month of May. I'm Jenny and welcome to Joy Energy Tarot. But there's no time in the spirit world so whenever you watch this is the right time for you and if you wait till the end you'll get your own personal message. Um, I won't be doing any weeklies during the month of May and I'll start doing them again in June because I'm taking a little holiday. Okay lovelies, you start off with the Six of Wands, so whatever it is you, that you do for a job or you're doing at home, people love what you do, you're actually guided and people respect what you do because you do a really good job. You are now waiting for something, this is like, uh, it can be something creative, you're waiting for money to come in, it's where you're working in conjunction with other people to um, create something and you're waiting for the results to come in, okay, and it looks very positive and happy. Then you're going to have, this is on the first week, a lot of information coming in. You're going to be rushed off your feet in the last approximate week of May. Um, sorry, the first week of May, but um, towards the end of the week. You'll be rushed off your feet. There'll be emails, phone calls, things like that coming in, success coming in, information coming in, and it's a karmic thing. It's an eight. You've got two eights there. The second week is you're feeling trapped, you're feeling tied down, but you've got your guard up. You're happy to do that, but your little wee spirit soul here is going to tell you when to let the guard down. Unfortunately, this is your own um, doing. You're, you have trapped yourself by your mental um, thinking. It's like, oh, what if this happens? What if that happens? Oh, my God, this might happen again. So change the way you look at things because then you can release that. And then you're dealing with the King of Wands. So somebody, you've got somebody in power there. This can be you too. When you are really good, you're the top of your field. But you could be dealing with someone, um, they can be a fire sign. They're a leader, they're in charge, they're the boss, they're brave. They get out there, they get stuff done. So you're either dealing with somebody like that or you are stepping up and being like that. And then you've got the hanged men. So you are dealing with these people and you're waiting for something. You've been making sacrifices. You've been trying to wait for the results. They haven't been coming in. So this is a card to remind you, just look outside the square. Do something a bit differently and you will get those results. And then you've got the lovers card. So again, this is working with other people in conjunction with other people to create something new. Some of you, it can be a relationship, you know, a lover, but the rest of you, it's working with people to create a new thing. And it's going to be very positive. See how yellow it is? This can be working on yourself too. And I feel it's to do with family or to do with people from the past uh, in some way. Because this is the card of either families, looking back, looking back to happier times, reminiscing. And then you've got the emperor. So this is dealing with somebody in power. Could be a government department, someone in control. Um, this can be too if you want to uh, start a business or go out on your own. This is where you're the leader, you're taking control, you are the boss. You're learning to delegate. And then you've got the, the, by the end of the month, you've got the star and the magician, which brings about the ending of the worrying. So... You are guided and looked after by the star or the, the your guides and your angels, Buddha, whoever you really believe in. Talk to them because they're around you, guiding you and helping you. But this is like dreams and wishes starting to come true. And because you've got the magician right next to it, this says that you have got the ability to manifest those dreams. Obviously, your guides are listening because this is all about heaps of communication coming in again. You being able to talk people into your way of thinking. You are just as in touch with heaven as you are with earth. That's why she's pointing up and down. And you've got every, you're a rounded person so you can make things happen believe in yourself because you can do it and by the end of the month that brings about the ending of the worrying the overthinking this not sleeping that sort of thing that situation is dead done dusted over goodbye good riddance now there's quite a long story here so I'm going to rush it you've got the king of pentacles which means that you're feeling safe stable secure there could be someone around you though who is very good with money you can get advice from them they can be a farmer they could be a banker um, an earth sign they're around you but it's more about you guys feeling safe and secure you're going to receive some money that could be owed to you um, or something that's owed to you like an act of kindness something like that is coming to you it's guided but don't forget to look after those less well off and whatever is coming towards you is your dearest wish it's something you've got the dearest wish and the star something you've been waiting for 
you're still in a holding pattern, that worrying, waking up, not sleeping, overthinking everything, write everything down, write down your goals, your hopes, your dreams, your list of jobs to be done, to get it out of your head so you're not thinking, that card can represent the what if this, what if that, well you need to get that out of your head and change the way you're thinking. You've actually got a lot of nines here, so that represents a lot of endings. And then you've got the King of Cups, so you may be dealing with a person who is very, um, they're very, very kind, caring, intuitive, very uh, strong though, even though they may, may not appear like it. And you might be worrying about that person. And you guys are receiving psychic messages. So if you don't know what that is, it's those random thoughts that suddenly pop into your head. They're coming from your tipuni, your ancestors or your guides. And then you've got the beginning of new money or the beginning of feeling. You're coming up with a new plan. It's the birth of a new plan that makes you feel stable. And then you've got the uh, justice card. So there could be legal documents there to sign, to sign or a contract to sign or otherwise you're getting the balance back in your life. It's going to come in quickly and show... Um, you know, what you want happening really quickly, which is going to bring about the ending of um, a, some sort of job or something you've been working on, you've seen the growth, and now you're just pausing, what am I going to do next? Sorry about rushing, but it's so much information to get out. Okay, Gemini, you have got Holy Amethyst for your message for the month of May. More Move beyond... Move beyond current challenges and focus on what you desire. You are ready to move beyond all of these that are no longer helpful to you and make space in your life for something more purposeful. You may feel a real need for clearing out, not just mentally or emotionally, but physically too. There is a sense that you are moving beyond challenges and forging golden opportunities from stagnant or unhappy experiences. It's important to recognize that you are like a magician at this time with the ability um, to use your thoughts, will and actions to bring about life chat fulfilling and dream enhancing opportunities. It's important to focus on what you desire and not what you fear because what you give your energy to will literally begin to flourish. Call on Holy Amethyst to help you focus on golden opportunities. Okay, Gemini, and your angel message is what goes around comes around. Okay, so remember that. Libra, what is your message? You have got the Holy Spirit. Wow. And the Holy Spirit. Expect miracles, Libra. And I think you're going to get them. Remember that only love is real. Miracles will occur naturally. Spirit has your back. Expect the unexpected and expect miracles. A real turnaround is possible now. Angels are dancing around you. Leave behind thoughts, memories and feelings that are no longer serving you. And remember that... Remember the love that you are. Move into your heart and allow that love to shine out into the world. Then miracles can happen. Woohoo! And your angel message is trust in your intuition more. You do have inner sight. Well, that came up in the cards too, didn't it? Okay, Aquarius, you've got the Miriam sacred vision. Wow. The Miriam sacred vision. Um, there you go. Choose to forgive in order to heal. See the light in all. Remember that love has no boundaries, Aquarius. There is a real opportunity for you to move beyond grief or grievance at this time. The Miriam are here, swirling their holy light all around you so that you can regain a sense of union with spirit. You are loved beyond words. Choose to see the light of God or goddess or the universe in everyone and everything and to love without boundaries. Honour others and honour yourself with your sacred vision. You are in a space of deep healing and forgiveness. Choosing to see the light of the world will help you to grow even more. Wow. And your angel message is, oh, what goes around comes around. It's what the others got. Okay, lovelies, I hope this has helped you, and I hope you have the most amazing way, um, way, way, and may. <laughs> Blessings to you all. Thank you all for watching. See you all again. Ka kiri anō. Bye.